talk a lot, a lot today, which is great, because um, it was simple stuff. And talk about the stuff that we already know. I, I think a lot of us already have our own experiences with finances. It might not be as, you know, exact or whatever, but we're going to talk about a little bit of the stuff we know about our personal experiences and think about that and how that is related with our own business. So we're going to talk about your finances in the co-op um, a little bit. Um, so I have a pressy which is really long, but we're going to put it online and you guys can't see it. Um, with your group when you have your, your meeting together and think about the things that if you don't know those things, um, you know, you can kind of relate a little bit and think about in your homework, what are the things that your personal life can be converted to the business? And then it's going to be a bunch of things that you guys don't know, but if you come up with maybe a list of the things that you don't know and maybe something you guys have to talk about later on. Um, as a group. So I'm going to talk about finance in general, which is a lot of the stuff that Stacy talked about, which is, uh, you know, it covers a lot of the, the stuff about money, about budgeting, about your expenses, your receipts, your bills, all, all that stuff, all the stuff that have to do with money um, or a lack of it, right? Um. <laughs> So um, these are all the things that you would think about, you know, debt, savings, if you have a retirement plan and if you don't, it will be a good moment to think about it. Um, so this is our, it's crazy. So you guys are going <laughs> to go nuts after seeing that, but I'm going to break it down a little bit. Um, I kind of did it in the order I thought it was important for us to know about it. So. Let's see, I'm going to close it because I, so I want to know, a test a little bit about why you guys, who here have a budget, a personal budget? Nice. Okay, who doesn't have a personal budget but kind of like in your brain is like, oh, this is, you know, how much money I make. <laughs> okay, right? <laughs> Even if we don't have it down and paid, but we all think it about it. So it's kind of like a mental thing, you know, to survive in, in capitalism. So I was expecting everybody to think about it. <coughs> think about it or don't talk about it or don't. <laughs> I, love I love you. I love you. Okay, so, well, um, everybody knows what budget it is. It's what you do with your money, money coming in, money going out, and uh, it's kind of a list. It kind of looks like that, right? <laughs> so um, you have to create a budget in your business, and personally, I will <laughs> tell you to try to do that. Whatever works for you, if it works as a map like that, that's how it works for me and my brain. Matt have a beautiful Excel sheet. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about how you start your budget. You know, so everything is in the Prezi. I don't want to go over step by step. You guys can check the Prezi out. We don't. I have 15 minutes to talk about this, but basically, you get all your statements, all your bank accounts, all your receipts, all that stuff together. You know, so all the stuff that looks like that that comes in the mail or on the internet. And then you record all the stuff you make money of, even if you know. You sell a pair of shoes at the yard sale, you should record it. Uh, your paycheck, you know, your grandmother give you some money. Um, and then you create a list of expenses. You know? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> now you know my secret. <laughs> secret vice. You know, it's more like kids gambling. I, I bet on my kids. <laughs> Uh, and then you break your expenses. After you have all your expenses, you break your expenses. It's kind of like balance sheet stuff. Uh, and then profit and loss. You know, you have expenses. They're flat. They're always the same. No matter what you do, if 
some of the expenses stay there even if you die, like your student loans. <laughs> um, and others are variable, you know, like depending how much you use, how much you eat, all that stuff. Um, and then you total those out, and then you have your monthly expenses, weekly expenses, whatever way you want to do it. You know, I just last time we were talking a little bit about venture capitalists, and you know, this is kind of how it looks like, and this is, I thought it was funny to think about it. Um, you can see it and read it. Um, so uh, then you're gonna come up with some results that you're gonna be able to compare with your your income and your expenses. So who have made adjustments like? Every day when, when you like get up in the morning and think about the things you have to do and then you open your purse or you like pull your wallet and it's like no money, right? <laughs> so then you know you have to make adjustments. You figure out that it's not you're not making it at the end of the month or you're not making it at the end of the week or whatever you get. So you're gonna have to start making some adjustments, right? You you think about all those things that makes more sense to change. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to stop gambling, but whatever. <laughs> whatever works for you. Um, so you can review your budget monthly, weekly, whatever. It's depending, depending how much your budget is on balance, you should review it. Um, if it's bad and balanced, it could be monthly. If it's weekly that you're getting cut up with the same problem, you do it weekly. Um, you know, this is kind of like how it would look like in your business. You know, it would be good if you have a chart, you know, that you can kind of check off, oh, this week I'm doing good on this, and this week I'm not doing good on that, or this month, whatever. Um, so it's important that you review it, and you kind of like can compare with last month or last week, and then you, you know the things you can change and how to make it more balanced. But even if that is not enough, then we're going to talk about how we're going to s stop spending. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to be talking a lot, but I just have very little time. We can talk about it later. You can stop me if you have a question, too. Um, so sometimes it's the little things that go constantly, the things it's like having a dripping thing in the sink, you know, you don't feel it, but it's going out, like, that $1. twenty-five in Dunkin' Donuts, I don't know if that has to no. <laughs> that's, that's when I stopped, <laughs> you know, like, exactly. I, or cigarettes, I used to smoke cigarettes and then it starts rolling and then I just have to quit, you know, either that or gambling, 